hi everyone and welcome back to the channel welcome back to Melis makes my name is mel i hope you guys are all having a lovely day today i'm going to be showing you a haul video these are items that i bought during december and also january i'm very aware that we are three weeks into january so january isn't technically over yet but these are things that i bought in december that i didn't necessarily receive at christmas um the bit in between christmas day and the new year because sales and things and then the first bit of january as well so i think i will be putting the haul videos up every quarter this is just kind of a mix of things that i've bought in the shop and also things that i've bought online as well so i hope you guys enjoy this haul video i'm not going to say that i should be trying to um convince you guys or encourage you guys to buy more things because i know that a lot of people are trying to save a lot of money right now but if you do get inspired i'll put the links of the items that i have bought or seen in the shops and um, that i have shown you in this video in the box below so i hope you guys enjoy today's video if you like today's video then please do give this video a like comment and a subscribe and let's get into the video so first of all i'm going to show you the bits that i bought um in store so this is from the range and hobby craft so the first things that I've got from Hobbycraft are these. So these are the paper flowers. I craft with these quite regularly. They're really, really good. I have a really solid collection now of flowers that I probably don't need anymore. But these are ones that I bought in the gorgeous kind of red and pinky colours. You get 20 in the pack. These are the paper flowers. Really, really gorgeous. And they come in different like sizes as well. They also come with the leaves too, which is good. So those are the Hobbycraft paper flowers. I also got them in this kind of blue colour. Again, with the leaves, they got them in different sizes. Lovely shades of blue as well. Gorgeous. So again, I just got them in the blue. Then I got these paper butterflies. There are nine in this pack, and this is in the darker tone. So you got lots of the purple, the blue, and then the navy. Again, really gorgeous. Apologies for the glow in the corner there. And then the last bit I got was this. So this is the six millimeters by 16 meters. This is the ultra sticky clear double solid tape by Styx 2. I always get this sellotape. It's basically the equivalent, the same as a red liner tape. And this comes in different like widths as well. I always get the um, six millimeter ones because I find that it just crafts um, a lot more better than a thinner one. And um, also it just holds a lot more better as well. So if I'm making cards, I feel like they're really, really strong enough to actually withstand any sort of um, damage or anything like that to them and they always really hold very well when you're trying to construct things as well i mean i always use kalau glue for like construction things but this is really good if you're not a massive like glue person this is really really good and this is what i use instead of red liner tape only because the red liner tape you know when you peel it off it sticks to you like um static but this has got because it's got a paper covering on top really really good and i love using this one so so this is the sticks to a double sided tape so absolutely lovely supplies there and then the next bits i got are from the range now i've seen a couple of people haul um these lovely kind of stickers so these are the floral stickers and i also got the nature ones as well this one reminded me a lot of um andrea who is andrea the and crafter um because this has a lot of mushrooms toadstools butterflies for example so this is really really gorgeous i love the butterflies i love some of the mushrooms might actually um send some of the mushrooms to andrea because i know that she loves like toadstools and things and i love some of the patterns of the butterfly wings really really gorgeous really really beautiful so that is that collection so the um top half is just like card stickers like paper stickers and then the bottom half this one here is like vellum which is absolutely beautiful really love some of the designs on there absolutely gorgeous so those are the gorgeous nature ones those are the nature um stickers with the vellum pieces as well at the bottom and then I also got the floral one as well. So again, absolutely gorgeous kind of floral um, elements. So you got some of the buds here, some of the whole flowers. You got some of the stems here, some of the leaves. And again, you got the vellum options at the bottom as well. Really, really gorgeous. Really, really beautiful stickers. So those are those ones. 
And then the last thing I got in store was this. So I don't really need any 12 by 12 paper bags. But I really love the colours in this one. It's just got a lot of kind of spring summery vibes. So you can actually transfer the spring side of this into the summer. So this is It's a Good Day to Have a Good Day. And I just love the elements of some of the um, pinks. Some of the peach colours. Um, some of the themes as well. I just really love some of the patterns and the colours in this. Really, really, really cool. Really love some of the cutouts as well. Really, really nice. I think the cutouts really won me over. Love some of these sentiments too. These are really good to put in scrapbooks or cards, for example. Again, lots of patterns. And this is double sided as well. So I just really love. And look how many sentiments there are on this paper absolutely wonderful then you can just cut them out like die cut them out or you can put them in your trimmer cut them out really really lovely to put on cards again you've got these beautiful um cut parts that you can actually just fussy cut around put them on a car put them on a scrapbook really really beautiful and it has the same patterns on the other side as well again i just love these kind of um, rainbow kind of patterns really really beautiful and i really love the colors so that is the last item that i got from the range i'm now going to show you the items that i bought online so the next items that i got are from ebay bubbleberries crafts um seven hills crafts and dice to die for so these are the ebay ones first so i'll just put these ones behind me so these are ones that i got from ebay so this is a woodwork craft collection stamp set this is the i think this is the uh, the London Elements. I did actually get a London Postcard one as well. So this is really, really pretty. Love to make some ATCs with this. So that is the London Elements one. Um, I also got this from eBay. So this is from Simon Says Stamp. So this is the Blooming Meadows, uh, the stamp and the die set. Absolutely gorgeous collection. Really love the floral. So I can't wait to actually use this and stamp these out. Really love some of the fact that you get the ones that are actually filled in with the black. So you actually get a chunkier, blockier colour. And then you've got the outline ones where you can actually just colour them in with your own colours. So this is a really gorgeous stamp set. I actually got this from a UK seller. And this is the dye that goes with it. So absolutely bargainous buy. So that is from eBay. And then I'll show you the bits that I got from... Bumbleberries, Seven Hills and Dice Cypher. So these two embossing folders, I've really gotten into embossing folders recently. So I'm trying to not necessarily add to my collection, but I'm trying to have like some sort of policy where it's like two in, two out. Like I was saying to Monica, who's Paper Mona, I said to her, I'd like to have like a one out, uh, one in, one out policy. Whether that actually works out or not, I'm not sure. But um, I've got to say that I really loved I don't really have any of these patterns. I really love these um, embossing folders. So the first one I got is from Ulta New. This is the Herringbone Tiles. So it has the kind of chevron effect on there, which I absolutely love. Again, I just don't have anything. I have a lot of kind of like dots and some floral designs, but I don't really have any like geometric designs, which I'm really, really kind of looking to get more of. So that is the herringbone one. And then the last one I got is from Spellbinders. So this is the loops embossing folder. So this is quite a large one. I think this is, yeah, this is um, um, like an A2 size. So it's just a little bit more bigger than a um, like a four by six card. But I'm really looking forward to using this one. Again, it has the lovely kind of geometric loops in there. And I love that. I just think it's really, really pretty. So those are the two that I got from um, Bubbleberries Crafts. The next one I got is just this one from Seven Hills. So this is the um, Scripty For You by Lawn Fawn. I've been wanting this die for ages, but I just haven't got around to actually buying it. And then the last ones, the last two die sets that I got were from Dice to Die For. And they sell this brand called The Stat Market. I really, really like some of their dies. Absolutely gorgeous. 
and as i'm trying to make cards for my shop i'm really looking forward to actually just making kind of like normal sentiment dies like for you and to you thank you that sort of thing so i've got this one that says for you so this has the outline and then it has the um letters that you can actually put on the outline because this cuts out like a block so it'd be quite nice to actually have um the letters on there as well it says absolutely beautiful really really gorgeous and then the last one that i have here is this one so this is the bold blossom so this is a layering die so you basically just um cut these out whole and then you actually just layer the dies up so it has the leaves so you put the branches in the leaves got some of the um, leaf branches here so you can put them in the small leaves and then you have the middles for the flowers as well i think i saw a couple of clips on what this looks like and it looks really really pretty i've actually got a smaller flower die from the stamp market as well and it looks really really gorgeous i did it as a tag i think for lisa who's crafting diva um i made a tag using the word hay and i had all the flowers behind it and i really really liked it so really looking forward to playing with those new bits that i've got from those particular stuff so again i'll put all the links of the things that i mentioned in the video in the box below so the penultimate items in this haul as the other haul has all the other bits from tonic and from aliexpress and also from crafty wizard this is the stuff from charmed cards and crafts again i'll put their link in the box below and these are some doodlebug and some stamperia goodies so i'll show you the doodlebug stuff first i've actually used this collection but i thought i'd actually show it to you this is the lots of love collection by doodlebug i actually ran out of it so i actually bought another pad with some of the um die cards absolutely beautiful collection really good for like valentine's cards so this is the six by six papers again it has the mix of the um dark pinks the light blues got some of the white backgrounds here with a spot of yellow some of the red as well and i just love the patterns i love doodle bug paper as you guys know i am just a massive fan huge fan i love how kind of funny they are comical they are how kind of friendly they are as well um, I just absolutely love the colours that they always combine together. So that is the Lots of Love paper pad. I also have the die cuts here. So we've got the lovely little die cuts. So we've got elements of the hearts, flowers, balloons, like little Valentine love letters, chocolates, um, little phones, little tire writers, little rainbows. I just think it's really, really gorgeous. So those are those and then we have the chit chat as you can tell they're all open because i've actually been using this absolutely gorgeous really love the colors so that is the sentiments pack as well beautiful and then the last bits i got from um charmed cards and crafts are these ones so this is the stamperia so let's just start together so i'll show you this one first so this is the Stamperia Rose um, Parfum. Parfum. And this has the gorgeous kind of pink, lots of pink, lots of greens, lots of yellows. I really love the imagery in this. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Really, really stunning colours. And this is what it looks like at the back. So you have the mix of the blues, mix of the yellows, mix of the pinks. You've got some gorgeous cut parts here. Everything looks so vintage, so kind of classy, very like elegant absolutely gorgeous really really love the papers and the patterns i just love some of the images on the front cover as well really really beautiful and i just love the elements of the flowers as well so i'm really looking forward to making some cards of these so it's really really beautiful and then the other paper pair that i will show you now is this one this is the garden of promises one this is also by Stampere, it's part of the Romantic Collection. It's got 10 double-sided um, sheets, and this is the 8x8 eight eight size. So again, it's got the mixture of the clocks, the lovely florals. I love some of the mix of the yellows, some of the whites and the um, beiges, some of the pinks as well, the books, some of the region elements. Oh, it's just absolutely stunning. And that's what it looks like on the other side. Absolutely gorgeous papers. We love the feel of it. Very, very vintage. Love some of the colours. I love some of the cup parts as well, especially with the flowers, the sentiments. Um, some of these like larger cut parts as well. Absolutely stunning. Really, really gorgeous. 
So those are the paper pearls. I also got some of the elements as well. So this one, this one goes with the Garden of Promises. So this has all the lovely kind of chipboard sentiments, some of the flowers, the big clock, has some of the butterflies in here. Love the colours, just so beautiful. Really, really love those. And uh, yeah, I'll put the link of these in the box below. But absolutely gorgeous chipboard sentiments um absolutely lovely so again it's got the gorgeous floral tones and um, this one is for yeah this is for the rose perfume set. sets again it mixes the floral some of the roses some of the gorgeous banners as well got some of these kind of like gorgeous shapes as well that you can actually use some little um postmark stamps again i just love the vintage feel of this i love the old school perfume bottles really really gorgeous so really really beautiful so that is the chipboard die cuts in the rose perfume selection really really pretty and then this one is for the garden of promises um i've just literally tried to stay for the top of it off because it came off but um this has some of the um sentiments again in the chipboard um some of the floral some of the butterflies some of this large vase i mean you can put that on the center of a scrapbooking uh, on a scrapbooking page maybe a large card for example really really gorgeous and it has some wonderful sentiments as well so i'm really looking forward to playing with this collection absolutely beautiful so those are the bits i got from charmed cards and crafts again i'll leave their link in the box below the last haul that i'm going to be showing you is from aliexpress tonic and i think crafty wizard as well so the last items in this haul are these. So these are very Monica inspired. If you don't know who Monica is, she's Paper Mona here on YouTube. Again, I'll leave her link in the box below. This is very inspired by her. Um, over the last couple of months, she's been showing a lot of gorgeous things on her channel and things that she got from AliExpress. Um, things from her favourite tools video, I think she did towards the end of the year. Um, a brand that she's been working with as part of their DT, which is called, um, I think it's called Craft O'Clock. And then she got some winnings from um, Chloe's Creative Cards as well as part of her winning card maker of the year last year. So I just want to say to Monica, if you're watching this video, I blame I blame you entirely for this uh, little part of the haul. But I'm so glad that you're able to share those wonderful things that you've won um the lovely things that you brought on aliexpress a lot of things that you've been working with for your um dt for craft o'clock so thank you so much for inspiring me to buy these lovely items i'm really looking forward to playing with all the items here so i'll show you the first item that's lying on the top so this is a teflon bone folder i've actually been looking for a teflon bone folder for years absolute years but this one's from tonic this is actually made of the same material that teflon is um and some of the american sites were actually selling i think a teflon bone folder for like 20 25 quid which i think is wild um i actually bought this on tonic for 11 pounds and i think it was free delivery i'm not sure but uh this is a really good it just doesn't leave any extra like creases any cracking that sort of thing i still use the we are memory keepers um scores that you get when you buy the boards for example but i really really love this it's just really really nice tool to use and um, it's not too heavy it's quite lightweight but i still use a mix of the two scores but i've always wanted a teflon bone folder so i'm really glad that i actually got one now so yay thank you so much uh, monica for your link to the tonic um website I really, really love using this. I've just left it in the packet to show you guys because this is what it looks like. I know that I can't fit it all in screen, but this is a really good bone folder to use. Really, really gorgeous. Thank you so much, Monica, for the link. Um, the next bits I'm going to show you are from Closed Creative Cards. Now, Monica didn't buy this. Um, she didn't buy this one. Um, um, and she didn't show it in her, like, as part of her winnings from Closed Creative Cards. I actually bought this one because I thought it was really, really pretty. So this has some gorgeous sentiments on there. So it has, like, I have a lovely day with love, happy birthday. So this has some gorgeous sentiments with them as well. Really, really pretty. And I think I got these on sale, actually, from Chloe's Creative Cards. So I got those. The next bits that I got from Chloe's Coast Cards are these ones. So these are like the flower, the flower stamps and die sets. Really, really gorgeous. So this is the Christmas rose, but I probably use it not at Christmas, 
I use it all year round to swap out the colours. So this has it in the white. Again, really, really gorgeous flowers. So this has the um, die set, which is in this corner, and then the stamp set here as well. Really, really beautiful designs. Gorgeous. And then the last one from Closed Coast of Cards is this one. This is the Summer Foliage Corner. Again, I just love the corners here. Absolutely stunning. Love the sentiments as well and has the die set that comes along with it here in the left corner. Again, with the lovely gorgeous purple. Again, I swap them out for more summery colours like peaches, lots of light pinks, yellows. I think it'll look absolutely stunning. So those are those. Those are from Chloe's Creative Cards. Again, I'll put the links to everything that I bought in the box below. So these are the stamps that Monica got from AliExpress. These remind me a lot of like Tim Holtz stamps. I just love the patterns on them. Um, I thought they actually have names, but I don't think they do. But I'll put the names in the box below when this video goes up. So we've got this one here that has the lovely kind of floral stems, some of the postal marks, some of these lovely kind of geometric squares. I love some of the florals on this. I just think it's a really pretty um, design. So you've got this one here. Beautiful. I thought these would actually have the names on them, but they actually don't. And this one is a floral one that has some of the postal marks again with some of the squares and some of the writing and script. Again, beautiful. I think if you line these all up, for example, they would look absolutely gorgeous all together. So those are those ones. I've got this one here that has all the fern leaves on them. Again, beautiful. Love some of these large leaves here at the top. And again, these are like red rubber stamps, but they have the green, or they have the blue matte instead. So instead of it being red, it's green or like a turquoisey blue. Beautiful. Next one we've got is this one. So this has the lovely kind of tulips on there with the postal marks. Again, gorgeous. And next one we have here is the butterflies. Again, with some of the writing on here, some of the boxes. I love some of these kind of vintage um, touches to them. That is that one. The penultimate one is this one. So this has the gorgeous like sunflower on them. Again, really, really pretty. Beautiful. And then the last one here is this one. So this has the mix of some of the flower stems, some of these lovely kind of um, labels they put on here as well. And I love some of the writing too, which I think is fab. So that is the last stamp that I got from AliExpress. So the last bits and pieces that I got are from Papers. So these are from Crafty Wizard. Um, the brand underneath that I'll show you later, which is from Craft Clock, I'll show you those. Those are that is the brand that Monica has been working with. She's actually part of their DT now. So um, it's a lovely to be able to have some of these papers that she was able to work with as well. And I've got some beautiful designs and colours. So the first things I've got here, so this is not a brand that uh, Monica is working with, but it's a really gorgeous paper. So this is the Fabrica, Fabrica Decoru. And so this is the tenderness and love. So I actually got the um, the die cuts to go with it. And I'm not going to open these, but they're really, really beautiful colours. So I hope that the glare isn't being horrible. So it has lots of the mint, some of the lovely um, stems here, some of the mix of the pinks, the white, some of the mint colours, the roses. I love the roses on here. Got a mix of the beige colour, some of the pink colour, some of this like blue. Um, I love some of the stone wash as well. And it has the mix of the grey and some of the roses. Again, absolutely beautiful colours. It's got a cut apart here on the end as well. And I uh, also got the um, die cut here too. Beautiful, really, really beautiful. I'm really glad that they've got the, um, the die cuts here on the back. So that is what those look like. Absolutely gorgeous collection. Really love the colours. So that is the Tenderness and Love collection. Also got this one, which is the Shabby Love collection. Has the mix of the blues, lots of the pinks, lots of the whites. I love some of this darker blue as well. It's absolutely gorgeous. Runs right through the collection. Again, lots of the um, car parts as well. I just love the mix of some of the light, lighter blues and they can still look really, really feminine, which I think is fabulous. 
So those are those. And I also got the, yes, I got the die cuts for them as well. Again, gorgeous die cuts. And these have those pictures here on the other side. Again, has the gorgeous wreaths. Got the lovely roses, some of these lovely peonies, all these ranunculus um, flowers, some of the stems as well, some of the um, leaves. Absolutely gorgeous. And I really love the amount of die cuts that you actually get. So that is that collection. And then the last collection that I have is this one. So this is the Summer Botanical Diary. Has the mix of some of the greens, some of these gorgeous kind of yellow autumn colours. Absolutely beautiful. And has some of these um, car parts here on the end again. Loving the mix of the darker green, some of the um, beiges, the little tan colours. Love some of the mix of the purple and some of the darker colours as well. It just kind of gives that more kind of vintage feel and i love the fact it is in kind of like autumn colors as well so you could probably use this set in autumn too which i think is a fab i didn't get the matching ones i don't think because these look like they're from a different um collection but this is the uh, the botany summer one so it's kind of like kind of similar in name but i really love the mix of some of the flowers that you get some of these fern leaves love the mix of the blues and the yellows and the pinks as well which i think is fabulous so those are the die cuts for that. Absolutely wonderful. So those are gorgeous. And then last bits I've got are from Craft O'Clock. Again, from Crafty Wizard. So these are really, really gorgeous. I'll show you the ones that um, I think that um, Monica had been making things with. So this is the Soulmates one. This is the 8x8. Again, I just love the colours. The lovely pinks, the lovely greys, the lovely whites. Um, I just love some of these dark colours that have just been thrown in. Absolutely beautiful. They've got 20, I think it's 24 double-sided papers. Um, and you've got some of the cut parts as well, which I think is a fab. So I really love some of the colours. They're just so beautiful. You can make some really gorgeous mixed media um, cards, mixed media prints or frames, for example. Really, really beautiful colours. I mean, look at that pink on the other side. It's just absolutely gorgeous. Really, really pretty. So that is the Sarmates one. I know that she got that from her DT. Um, I'm not sure if she got the other two, but um, she got. I've got Scent of Nostalgia here. Again, has the mix of the pinks, the blues. I love these kind of wood textures as well with the pink and also with the darker brown. I love some of the floors here that have the mix of like the peaches, some of the lovely beige colour, some of the greens as well. I just absolutely love it. So those are that collection, the Scent of Nostalgia one, absolutely gorgeous. Again, 24 double-sided um, pages. I think this is 190 GSM, which is a really thick paper. And again, this is some of the effects on the other side as well. So I'm really looking forward to making some cards with these and actually cutting some, fussy cutting some bits out as well. So it's absolutely gorgeous. And then the last papers, finally, is this one. So this is the Woodland Friends. I actually love it. I don't know what it is, but I love this thing about cute animals. Um, so these are really, really gorgeous. So they have some really sweet, like woodland animals. Got some cut parts here that you can actually obviously divide up into like little mini cards. But again, it's just a mix of some of the floral, some of the lovely woodland animals as well. Just so cute. Love the mix of the blues, some of these yellow colours. I love some of the pinks as well. Really, really gorgeous. Again. 24 double-sided um, papers, 190 GSM, and I love, love, love some of these designs. These are really good for like kids' cards, for example, and um, baby cards because they've got really cute animals on them. They're just really, really sweet. So that is the last um, papers that I got that I bought with all the lovely, um, with all the lovely bits and pieces that I got during December and January. So I hope you guys have enjoyed that haul. So that is my haul video for December and January. I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. It might be a bit of a long while once I edit it down. Hopefully it's not too long for you guys to watch. But I hope you guys have enjoyed the video. I'll put all the links of the items that I mentioned in the box below. So please do go have a look if you wish to purchase. Thank you so much to Monica for inspiring me on some of these purchases. I really, really appreciate it. And thank you to you guys for watching this video as well. Hope you guys have liked the video. If you like the video, then please do give this video a like, comment and a subscribe. I'll see you guys in my next video.